My name is Raquel Didero, and I'm the CEO of Capable. So what if you could know all of this information about me just by taking a picture of me? Or what if you could know even more information about me by simply using this technology, this, this picture? What if I could use the same technology to gather the information about every one of you in this room? Or what if I could use the same technology for anyone walking in the street? Well, what if I told you that there's only two countries in the world that are banning this technology, this AI person recognition? And what if I told you that this technology could be inaccurate and people went to jail already for a mistake of this technology? Or that this technology is used to track women who are not wearing the hijab? Or it's used to track minors' behavior in schools? Well, how do we feel? Are we OK? Are we a bit scared, apprehensive? Well, you are not the only one. 81% of consumers are concerned about biometric data being used. And their trust in the security of their biometric data has dropped down to 5% in 2024. And 90% of parents recognize the importance of their children biometric data and personal data. Well, but I do think that Overall, like the main problem here is that we cannot decide, we cannot opt in, we cannot opt out, because we sometimes don't even know that there's this technology around us, right? And we don't have a physical protection that can allow us to opt in or opt out. So let's have a look at the camera right now. Yeah, so. There's a software of object detection, and it's saying that I'm a person. Potentially, right now, my data is being collected. But what if there was another technology that we can decide to use every day and that prevents this from happening? Well, this other technology exists. It's here, it's now, and I'm wearing it. So do you all see a giraffe on this stage? Well, it's still me. It's still, I'm still a person. <laughs> but yeah, the AI sees a giraffe there. And my face is not in the red bounty box. Therefore, my data is being protected. So we can go back to the slides now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so what is this? This is an AI camouflage designed by AI. And it's not an invisibility clock. So we are all able to say, OK, uh, there's a person here, or there's a person in the video right there that is wearing an orange sweater. And this is just confusing the AI. So their hair biometric data is not being taken. But we don't only have this outfit or another outfit, the orange one. We actually we are able to create as many images as we want. This is the manifesto collection. And it is the first collection of garments that are protecting biometric data of the wearers. We train the model, we obtain the digital image, and then from these we obtain the textile, and then from the textile we obtain the garment. And then when we test it, we see the people who are wearing capable are not inside these red bounding boxes, therefore their biometric data is not being taken and it's protected. I, we already filed three patents, we are on the way to obtain other two ones, and everything started in 2021 when I started my PhD, and last year, CNN wrote an article about us, and we went viral. And we started selling our garments all over the world. Um, they are made in Italy, and it was such an amazing thing. And in 2024, we already have two confirmed collaborations with big companies. We have one um, collaboration with a large fashion brand that is negotiating. But I do believe that the most important asset that we have here, it's people. 
we have created this community of amazing people and it's also the energy that keeps me going every day. We all know how stressful could be, how emotional roller coaster could be having a startup or doing research and this is just amazing. Having sharing this common goal with all of them, we all do want in this world of machine, in this world of AI, we all care so much about the most beautiful and vulnerable part that we have, which is our human essence. And our vision for the future is to become the Goretex for identity protection, for privacy protection, and not only collaborating with fashion or nonprofit, privacy tech or the government, but really in this world of machine, in this world of AI, to have another possibility, right? To give the opportunity to people to protect the identity of objects and human beings. Thank you very much.